Hello Ravenhurst fans, today I'm going to show you how to direct install the mod, or any mod, but my mod, uh, and make a clean backup copy of your vanilla 7 Days to Die so you can have multiple versions of several of mods on your, on your desktop or anywhere you want to put it. So, to begin, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a clean, fresh copy of 7 Days to Die. Uh, you don't want to put any mods in your Steam Apps folder. So that is located anywhere you install your Steam games. And for me, it's on my D drive here. Um, inside your Steam Library folders, you'll see a Steam Apps folder and a Common folder. And that's where you'll find all your games. There are seven days to die. So grab yourself a clean copy of seven days and install it there. Um, if you're on experimental, the easiest way to get to experimental, or if we're on experimental, is you right-click Seven Days to Die on your Steam list, you click on Properties, and then you go to Betas over here. And over here on the Beta Participation, you'll see all the old Seven Days to Die copies right here. Selecting None will get you on Stable, which right now is 21.1. If you want to play our mod on its current version, which is the B12 version, you would click Latest Experimental Unstable Build. That will always take you to their latest experimental. Now, after you do that, and it's all downloaded and installed, what you're going to want to do is go into the Steam Apps folder, and here's your 7 Days to Die. It should have no mods folder in it. Mine does. Okay, I was testing something. Let me get rid of that. It should be a clean 7 Days install. So, you want to right-click on it, and you want to copy it, and then you want to paste it somewhere. For me, it's my desktop. I already have it here. I paste it right there. See, you go inside of it. There's the game. All loaded up and ready to go if you want to do something with it. Now, I rename it to something so that I know what it is. This way, you can have, like, Ravenhurst, Darkness Falls, or the Walkers, or the Legacy, anything you want. You can make multiple copies of Seven Days to Die and put it on your desktop or somewhere else and just rename it to what you want. So, and you're going to go into our Discord. After you do that, you're going to download our mod, go to Ravenhurst News, and you'll always see the latest link to download our mod, which is right here. Right now, we're using Mediafire. You click it, you download it. Once you download it, go to where you downloaded it to. Right here is mine. And then you right-click it, and then you unzip it somewhere. You extract it. Extract files. Once you extract it, go inside the folder that it created, and you're going to see a mods folder. This one. You want to right-click it. You want to copy it. You want to go back to your desktop where you put 7 Days to Die. Don't put it in your Steam Apps folder. Go into your 7 Days to Die folder, and then you're going to paste it right in there. And it'll paste the mod in there for you. Okay, it'll look like this. Once it's done copying, I'm gonna just cancel that. Once it's done copying, that's all you have to do. Just start it up EXE from here, this EXE, and you can play the game that way. Um, like I said, you can make multiple copies of Seven Days that way through the vanilla one. Drop it somewhere, rename it to all your other mods, whatever mods you play, and then you could have like six, seven, eight, nine different mods going at once. And that's all you have to do. All right. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Take care. See you next time.